Hey y'all, I know y'all probably like, long time no see, long time no hear from me, I know, um, and I apologize for that. Um, I guess it's just been kind of hectic with school, um, hectic trying to keep up on the other channel, and I typically post more to that channel because I have more content for that channel. I'm getting topic requests on top of topic requests you know when I sleep 24 7 so I always have content for this channel being that this is more so a weight loss channel however I can't update y'all that much if I ain't losing too much weight I mean of course I can do um videos in terms of what I'm eating what I'm cooking or, or exercises and I do plan to do that it's just one I'm very far from many people that I know so I always I don't always have somebody to help me you know with the camera work and stuff like that um and also it gets kind of frustrating with not seeing the scale move I will not lie about that I think since my last update I probably and this is a big probably yeah I've lost about three pounds since the last time I made the video which you know I guess I should be happy with but at the same time it's still kind of frustrating because I do have my own goals that I would like to accomplish as soon as possible but you know getting my body on the same page is kind of like I can't really make it do anything more than it's going to do regardless of what I do um I just say stated in another video where you know um I had to walk 10 miles um the other day and I'm not talking just you know 10 miles straight on the treadmill I'm literally talking 10 miles um up and down hills and all types of stuff like that you know and I watch what I eat most days I do have my mess up days but even when I'm doing you know great it's still like I don't see results that often and I think a lot of it has to do with my body composition, me carrying most of my weight in the lower half of my body really doesn't move from there too much. With that being said, though, I would like to talk about this topic of request that I got on my Parachute Sister channel because it actually uh, goes on this channel, if you ask me. And I know this isn't a topic request channel and I don't plan on turning it into that. So I just want to kind of touch this real quick because I'm about to head to the gym. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, you dress for the gym, throw on your shoes, do the topic request before you go. You know, so here's what I'm here to do. Um, it says, I have seen a few of your videos and I skimmed over your site. Your body shape like mine is amazing. Your proportions are a little bit bigger than mine. I love that you're working hard to lose the weight. So sick of women and men, especially in the black community, thinking fat means thick, rolled eyes. The term is heavily abused, misused, and straight up confused. Well, anyway, I know how you in the past have talked about how people have given you stares or think your body is fake or even the struggle of weight loss in the thighs. So when I stumbled across this woman via Body Nomics Facebook page, I thought you should see this woman if you haven't already. I have been shaking my head at this poor woman's body for days. So much I could say, but I won't. I will keep this short. Her name is Mikael Ruffinelli, I believe. And so this woman is... Um, in the, uh, I think she's in the Guinness World Book of Records as having the widest hips, I believe. And, um, I saw the video. I did see the video actually before I got that type of request from, I believe her name was Shay. And, you know, it kind of made me think like of my aunt. I've said in so many of my videos that, my mom is pear-shaped. My aunts are pear-shaped. I have two aunts and on my mom's side. And my um, grandmother, God rest her soul, was pear-shaped. But we're all pears at different sizes. And I would say maybe it goes my oldest aunt. She's probably the smallest pair of us. Then maybe either me or my mom. And then comes my aunt. My aunt is similar in size to Mikhail. Very similar. And um, I think the only difference is her breasts may be a little bit smaller. But um, weight size, they probably close to the same weight. 
The difference is my aunt is taller than me and I'm five foot four. And what I've been reading about Mikhail is she's also five foot four. And I think her her uh hips are 99 inches. Mine are 49 inches. So at my height, now at my at, at my height, I already have big hips at 49 inches, or they were 49 inches at last measure, and I haven't measured lately. So just imagine me with 50 inches more hips. And that's pretty much what you get with her because, like I said, I believe we're the same height. We're both 5'4". That's pretty short. And um, so my aunt, is, is she's very similar. She may not be as wide as Mikhail, but I don't think Mikhail beating her by that much. And I'm not lying to y'all. My aunt has to walk with the cane. And so where I'm going with this is that, you know, people do use terms that may not necessarily... Um, pertain to one particular person or they have their own mindset of what they consider fat or what they consider thick or what they consider this, that, or the third. For instance, the term obese. A lot of people like to think that term has negative connotations and many times it does, but according to the general standards, many of us are obese. I'm included. According to the height and weight ratio for my BMI, my BMI would classify me as obese. Even though I've lost 75 pounds, I'm still considered obese. So it's not necessarily um the actual numbers behind it is people whole mindset and concept of what is healthy and what is attractive and what is this and what is that her husband loves it her husband thinks it's beautiful wonderful she's fantastic she's a sight to see and to many she is she's a beautiful woman nonetheless it does come to a point in time where you have to be like okay you know i know because of my physical uniqueness, I get this certain amount of attention. Nonetheless, even though I'm not unhealthy right now, there is a possibility of me being unhealthy. It was just pretty much the same with me. With me being um, 281 pounds at that particular time, I didn't have any major health issues. I, I say major because I had maybe like acid reflux and I couldn't really sleep. Well, I can't sleep now, but I don't think it has anything to do with my weight. But I don't have the acid reflux anymore because I changed how I was eating and things like that. Nonetheless, not having an issue at the particular moment does not mean if I don't change what I'm doing now, there's not a possibility of me developing an issue later on down the line. You know, whether it be um, cardiovascular disease, which is the number one killing, killer of Americans, period. Um, I could have ended up with diabetes, hypertension, you name it. It's so many different things. Hyperlipidemia, it's so many different things that could result as a, uh, could occur as a result of not being a healthy weight. Now, am I saying that you actually, or, or, or she, I'm not even talking about her at this point. I just brought her up for the simple fact that even though she is a pear shaped woman and she, by her own attestation, does not have any medical issues at this particular point, it doesn't mean that later on down the line you won't develop any. Like if you watch the video, you'll see that she tries to work out with her daughters for uh, a little while and it's truly a little while. Like it doesn't even last that long, y'all. So, you know, I mean, it's just like basically, basically what, what sort of quality of life are you having? Like, granted, you know, you don't have any medical issues right now. And if you okay with being 420 pounds, then do your thing. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't okay with being 281 pounds. I'm not okay at my current weight. You know, I'm okay. Let me change that. I'm okay, but I know that I could be a much more healthier weight. And that's my aim, you know. So, and again, it's going to take time for me to get there, but I'm working on it. She don't see a problem with it. And who am I to necessarily try to force her to do anything or condemn her or talk bad about her? Because, again, even though I may not be as wide as she is, I still have the whole hips and thigh issue or whatever. So I'm trying to do what I can to make those changes now so that I don't have any problems later on down the line. Um, how do y'all out there feel about the situation in terms of what is considered fat, what is considered thick, and, you know, what is your estimation of healthy? Um, I would love to know. All right, I'll open this up. Talk to y'all later. I'm about to hit the gym. Bye.